I know we're supposed to be hating and mistrusting the Russians a lot right now, but this afternoon you can watch for yourself. We're actually friends and partners with these guys, at least when it comes to rocket ships. Today, another mixed crew with an American, a Russian, and a French guy head to the International Space Station aboard a Russian Soyuz rocket. You can stream the whole thing live on NASA TV. I'll give you that link. Now, the space station cost a fortune to put up there, and that came out of Russian taxpayers' pockets as well as yours. I've heard from folks who would know that all the political bluster aside, the American and Russian space agencies are more tightly interlocked than ever. Hey, you can see for yourself. The Russians have learned to communicate with an almost NASA-like clarity. That didn't come easily to them. Dr. Peggy Whitson, our most experienced female astronaut and the next space station commander, has launched and landed in Soyuz spacecraft, spacewalked in Russian spacesuits, speaks Russian as well as English. They all do. You see, there's a bright line that exists between the talk-based world of politics and persuasion and the engineering-based world of actually building things and making them work. All right, maybe we're not doing so well in that first one, but at least in that second world, the Russians and the Americans are finally on the same page.